heard of the sort of challenges that uh, Vakas Saab has referred to, given that you are at the heart uh, of the matter um, when it comes to financing, what sort of challenges do you see and how would you suggest we, we take that into consideration going forward? Gee, thank you, Ishmael. Uh, you see, the uh, although the earlier speakers have put the context perfectly about the global situation. I just want to highlight one, one figure which was not talked about. The contribution of Pakistan to the overall greenhouse gases is mainly 0.9%. And then from there on, uh, what uh, one of the speakers talked about, we have committed to reduce it further by 50% by 2030. Uh, costing us what 101 billion and then another 64 billion dollars for another 10 years. These are these are substantial numbers for a country like Pakistan. Um, and I think, uh, and out of that, by the way, that 50 percent reduction, 35 percent of that funding is supposed to come from the international, it's conditional of, uh, funding from international sources. Uh, and 15 percent we have to do it ourselves. Now the world is changing big time and we've seen ourselves the kind of issues that um, you know the, uh, uh, the the countries are face, facing across the globe, uh, particularly in Europe. Um, uh, we have seen uh, the pressure on Germany uh, to, to look at you know reviving their coal plants. We've seen France, you know, they uh, they are also looking at the uh, nuclear plants to be revived back. Uh, these are all the realities of life and we need to keep all those realities in mind. Now, given all of that, I think it will not be fair and, give, and it's also established fact that we are on the receiving end of global warming uh, to expect us to do things totally on our own, given our fiscal constraints as well. Uh, Minister is here, she'll talk about it. Uh, the external and all challenges. I think the world has to step up and take more responsibility than what is expected from Pakistan. We do our bit, the banks are doing their bit. Um, uh, Ashwanda, we talked about the green, um, you know, banking guidelines, but State Bank has actually gone a step further and they've rolled out uh, environmental and social risk management framework, whereby the banks are required to implement that in three years. And in those three years, uh, the, the, the each borrower who will, which will who will come for for financing to the banks will be given a rating, uh, and then that based on that rating, the pricing will be determined. Um, so that piece has also been taken care of. But the fact of the matter is that there are constraints on the fiscal side. We've seen in the past that you know on uh, on the solar financing. There was a financing subsidy, financing facility which was available. I think it's very unfair to expect government to continue with that, or the, at least on the same terms. Uh, and if we don't, uh, you know, continue with that one, then the interest rates are at such a level that perhaps the whole viability becomes a bit of a question mark. Although Omar will talk about it later, we had a brief chat on this one. That perhaps of some kind of certainty, uh, I'll take the advantage of Minister's presence here, is given on that front, then the the, the, the financing company, the specialized finance, banks will do the financing, but the, the conduit in the middle will be able to then take a position on what's required to be done. So I think that's the certainty piece on whether the fiscal uh, you know support is there or not is very important. Then there are challenges on the external account as well. So the LCs, the most of the equipment that we're talking about is sophisticated equipment, is not available locally. And the expectation is that our partners and friends outside Pakistan should be able to assist us in making sure that you know we are well funded for that external financing requirements too. So this is the second important thing. The banks, as I said, and the regulator has already done their bit. They've already already, um, uh, you know, issued the guidelines which are required, which kind of gives the carrot and stick 
who have been following the Caribbean Speak policy on the banks, on the border, will motivate them to come through and 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 and, and you know, look at the compliance piece. But then I think the responsibility uh, lies more on the rest of the world than Pakistan alone to achieve anything. Here. Another recommendation taking the advantage of Mr. President, I would suggest that you know we have six or seven DFIs. And I know there is some kind of discussion going on uh, at the Ministry of Finance level. Uh, there has been a discussion in the past as well. I think it's about time that we look at specialized, uh, making them more into specialized areas. And perhaps, you know, ESG is one area that these, these DFIs could be given a target for, or one of them could be given a mandate to pursue ESG uh, compliance projects and expertise to be developed, developed there. At the bank's level, you know, obviously there are constraints and it all adds, adds up to the cost. Uh, it's, they, they make expertise, we don't know the green financing that well, there are technicalities involved and you know from project financing perspective it's always better that the experts do what they do uh, better than the other. Relying on the commercial banks to do that Maybe a bit of a challenge, and that's the reason why we're not just seeing any, any, uh, you know, activity or ramp up on that. Let me just try and make something positive out of out of this session. Let me offer Sebastian to work with us, and perhaps I'll offer Varandas to come with us as well. Let's talk about doing a sovereign uh, a green bond. Let's talk about it. We'll work with you. We, by the way, just want the best corporate finance banking award and the fixed income, but we don't have the expertise on the green financing piece internationally. So why don't you break that on the table? And of course, some money as well. But uh, but we'll work with you, we'll work together, we'll go to the minister as well, we'll engage the government. Let's take something positive out of the session today.